offer to the repulsors of the great, tiny wash break. Name the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord our God, a constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. And our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from the heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me that small scroll. He said to me, Take and swallow it. I will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet is my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. I have sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight, they are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. My sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever, the joy of my heart they are. I will sweet to my taste to your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my in my yearning for your commands. How sweet is my taste to your promise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord, Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death, but they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hi. Good morning, God. Well, just imagine yourself walking along and just enjoy the beautiful day, and all of a sudden you hear the booming voice, Hey, you down there! You look around, and there's this booming voice, and then you see this angel, this huge angel standing half on the sea and half on the land. And he says to you, Hey, take this book and eat it. Well, are you about to tell him, well, books are really not on my diet. I don't really digest them well. <laughs> so, but you take it anyway and eat it, and it's sweet, and then it turns up, upset down your stomach. So that's the story. 
and it is a sign of being a prophet. Whatever is sweet, it tastes first, and then it becomes sour afterwards. Just imagine, think of back about your own self. When you when you're married, maybe, so you get married, there's the honeymoon, and then the next two, three, four, five, six, seven years are good, and then the, the seventh year comes along, and things are not so good anymore, and it becomes sour almost. You have to really struggle to keep this marriage alive. Not always, but sometimes it happens. Priests just the same. They go through a honeymoon and then reality sets in and then it becomes very difficult sometimes. And if we don't run around it in prayer, we will lose everything. So that's where we are with God. And he comes now to make us priests, prophets, and kings. That's what we are by baptism. So we are a prophet. We've been given the sweetness of God. We've been given the grace of God to dwell within ourselves. Like Jesus came and went into the temple and uh, the people loved them, but then the sour puss were the uh, leaders of the, of the church down uh, there, their synagogue and the temple, and so they were sought to kill him. So Jesus wanted to cleanse the temple because it is the house of God. Well, the temple was destroyed, we know that. We've got a church here, but when we're not here, still it's a church, but you know, we are now the new temple. We come together as individual little stone blocks of stones coming together. And as we come together in the church, we start building this spiritual temple. And it was accompanied by all the heavenly saints and the angels in heaven. When we come together, they also come down from heaven to be with us. So we become this powerhouse. But we must learn to cleanse this temple. We cleanse this temple from all these doves and money, things and whatnot, so that we become a pure temple of the Lord. And that takes always some work. Get rid of all these bad sins, get rid of the imperfections, get rid of all the things which are not so pleasing to God. And little by little, we cleanse the temple so that the temple of God is truly pure and holy. And this is what God wants from us, to be holy as He is holy. Thanks and honor to you now and always. We pray especially for our country that you will give us a president who loves life, truth, goodness, justice, and all the things you have instituted. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our We pray for all the people who have passed away, especially those in the Book of Remembrance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our We pray for our suffering and hurting members of our community and of our families. Help them and if it be thy will, heal them. If not, keep them, give them the grace to persevere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And the petitions today. With these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so indebted to you for being so kind to us. We want to love you more and more. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the wine and work of human hands have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice and your hands. Grant the Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration be acclaimed. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, for son and Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, when we, we eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the bread of the Lord until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Eric XVI, our Pope Emeritus, our Lord Bishop, and all the clergy. And also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy as all we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Receive his command and form in a teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and we us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with you, we will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, we take your words into the world. Lamb of God, we take
Amen. I say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive and it shall be given to you, says the Lord. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring the Lord that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Mighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, come upon and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in Saint Joseph, all the holy angels and saints.
pray for us. May the divine assistance remain on our hearts with us. May we close all the faithful departed with the mercy of God our presence. And we continue for those who would like to stay with our exorcist and prayer for our country. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Most gracious Virgin Mary, thou who hast crushed the head of the serpent, protect us from the vengeance of the evil one. We offer our prayers, supplications, sufferings, and good works to thee, so that thou may purify them, sanctify them, present them to thy Son as a perfect offering. May this offering be given so that the demons that influence or seek to influence the members of the Auxilium Christian norm do not know the source of their expulsion and blindness. Blind them so that they know not our good works. Blind them so they know not on whom to take vengeance. Blind them so that they may receive the just sentence for their works. Cover us with the precious blood of thy Son, so that we may enjoy the protection which flows from his passion and death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael, Amen. the Archangel, the Lord is there. We are Grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate with solemn worship the price of our salvation, 
but the power thereof may here on earth keep us from all things hurtful, and the fruit of the same may gladden us forever hereafter in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Jesus, meek of humble heart, of the desire of being esteemed, of the desire of being loved, of the desire of being extolled, of the desire of being honored, of the desire of being praised, of the desire of being preferred to others, of the desire of being consulted, of the desire of being approved, of the fear of being humiliated, of the fear of being despised, of the fear of suffering rebukes, of the fear of being calumniated, of the fear of being forgotten, of the fear of being ridiculed, of the fear of being wronged. Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, Jesus. that others may be loved more than I, Jesus. that others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus. that in the opinion of the world others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus. that others may be chosen and I set aside. Others may be praised and I unnoticed. That others may be preferred to me in everything. That others may become holier than I, provided that I become as holy as I should. August, Queen of the Heavens, Heavenly Star of the Angels, Thou art from the beginning and has received the power of the mission. We humbly beseech thee to send thy holy angels, so that I may lend thy hand, and through thy power, may be purchased to the demons, and combat them everywhere. Suppress their boldness, and guide them back into the abyss. O good and tender mother, thou wilt always be our love and hope. O divine mother, send thy holy angels to the us. Sick of our Jesus, have mercy on us. Mary, of the Christians, pray for us. Virgin, most powerful, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. All the holy angels, pray for us. Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen.